Late pickups and drop-offs have become a new normal for Roanoke students, which is frustrating their parents. Bus drivers say Durham School Services Management is creating headaches for people behind the wheel. 10 News reporter Todd Simmons went to the company with driver's concerns and has its reaction tonight. Ever since Durham School Services took over Roanoke school buses, some drivers have been questioning if it's worth it to stay behind the wheel. They're upset and I'm upset and it's, it's, it's not a conducive environment. Two drivers spoke with 10 News anonymously about the issue since Durham took over. They say the main issue behind the late drop-offs and pickups is Zonar, a new digital system for checking buses. We have to log back into the Zonar system, scan a bunch of tags to do the child check. When technology is supposed to speed everything up, it has slowed us down. Our trainers have been busting their bottoms. Durham says it has trained drivers on the new system, but some bus drivers say they are on the verge of quitting, if not for the kids they drive. That's one reason why I'm trying to stick it out as much as I can, but, you know, you can only do so much. While the kids are affected by the driving delays, some of the drivers are experiencing delays of their own. If their pay isn't fixed, if we're shorted, a lot of people are trying to be back. This driver has been waiting three weeks for a paycheck. There's a whole lot of underlying mess because I have bills that are behind. There are no groceries in my house. Durham School Services addressed the late pay in a statement to 10 News. It says it's due to delays with its mail carrier and all employees will be paid for their work. However, the issues that have stacked up so far have some drivers wondering if they should leave the buses behind. You get behind on your bills because you're not paid. And then you lose everything you're still trying to be loyal and cooperative. In Roanoke, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you.